Demo 4.10 Receive and Verify Invoice In this demo, we will record the receipt of an invoice for the materials that were received from a vendor. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction to record an invoice or enter transaction code MIRO in the command field to directly access the transaction. First, expand the Logistics menu. In the Logistics menu, expand the Materials Management menu. In the Materials Management menu, expand the Logistics Invoice Verification menu. In the Logistics Invoice Verification menu, expand the Document Entry menu. In the Document Entry menu, select the MIRO Enter Invoice Transaction. The system displays the transaction screen for entering an incoming invoice. First, enter a date for the invoice. You can either enter the date directly or search for a calendar. To search for a date from a calendar, click the icon next to the Invoice Date field. The system displays a calendar. Double-click the desired date or single-click it and then click Enter to select it. In this demo, we will select July 12th. Next, enter the purchase order number for which the invoice was received. If you know the number, then enter it directly in the Purchase Order and Scheduling Agreement field. Otherwise, search for it by clicking on the search icon next to the Purchase Order and Scheduling Agreement field. The system displays a screen for searching for purchase orders. Begin by specifying the desired criteria. In this demo, we will specify the vendor number for Olympic Protective Gear. If you know the vendor number, then enter it directly in the vendor field. To search for the vendor, either click the icon next to the vendor field. The system displays the vendor search screen. Enter the desired criteria, or to display a list of all vendors, click Enter. In our demo, we will not provide any criteria. The system displays a list of vendors. Double-click the desired vendor to select it. In our demo, we will select Olympic Protective Gear. The system copies the vendor number into the search screen for purchase orders. Provide additional criteria if desired and click Enter to validate the data. Once the data are validated, click the Execute icon to display all purchase orders for specific criteria. In our demo, we will not provide additional criteria. The system displays a list of purchase orders that match the search criteria. In our demo, there are two purchase orders for the vendor Olympic Protective Gear. Click the checkbox next to the desired purchase order and then click the copy icon to select it. In our demo, we will select purchase order number 450-000-0017. The system copies the data from the purchase order into the invoice entry screen. To verify that the quantity and amount are correct for each line item, click the checkbox for each line. In our demo, there is only one line item. We will check the box next to that item to indicate that the invoice is verified. Next, enter the amount of the invoice in the Amount field. In this example, we will enter $7,500 as the invoice amount. Click Enter to validate the data. Note that the Balance field in the top right indicates a balance of $7,500 before the invoice amount is entered and the invoice is validated. After the invoice has been validated, the balance becomes zero. At this point, the invoice is ready to save. Click the Save icon to record the invoice and save the invoice data. The system saves the invoice and creates a financial accounting document. The document number is displayed in the information area at the bottom left corner of the screen. In our demo, the system has generated document number 510-5600112.
Next, we will display the original purchase requisition to view its status. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction to display a requisition, or enter transaction code ME53N in the command field to directly access the transaction. The menu path to navigate using the SAP Easy Access menu is Logistics to Materials Management to Purchasing to Purchase Requisition to Display. The system displays the Display Purchase Rec screen. Type the Purchase Requisition number into the Purchase Rec field, or by searching for it as explained earlier in this demo. In our demo, we have identified the Purchase Requisition in the Document Overview area. Double-click the Requisition number to retrieve it. The system displays the Purchase Requisition. Close the header areas and open the Item Overview and Item Detail areas. Select the desired item in the Item Overview area and click the Status tab in the Item Detail area. In this demo, we have selected the only item in the requisition, the one for 500 t-shirts. The Item Detail area now displays an invoice receipt for 500 units. Close the Item Detail area. Open the header area and click on the Status tab. The screen now indicates the status of all the items in the requisition. In our demo, the status now indicates an invoice for 500 units for a total of $7,500. Double-click the purchase order number in the Item Detail Status screen, previous screen in this demo, to open the purchase order. The system displays the purchase order. Click on the Purchase Order History tab in the Item Detail screen to view the status of the purchase order. The system shows the status of the purchase order. In this demo, a goods receipt and an invoice receipt are shown for the purchase order. Double-click on either document number to view it. In this demo, we will view the invoice. The system displays the invoice that was previously created. Demo 4.10 Receive and Verify Invoice